What up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dawson's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on a Friday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. Hope you had an awesome week. Frolicking on a Friday with a fresh haircut for you all. Playing a little aquaponics action. Check this out. So we got this going on here. Uh, let me, first and foremost, let me say, this is by no means level, okay? I could have taken the two hours it would have taken to level it, but the benefits of it being level um, do not outweigh just, like, the time. It doesn't matter, like, if it's not level, if something happens and it falls, it's outside, whatever. Uh, I'll keep young children away from this, but it is not level, not easy to level, and I don't really care if it's level. Obviously, if this was inside, whatever, would be a different deal. But here's what's up. I used this fat bit for the first time. I've actually never drilled a tank before, and I have been practicing on a broken hex up there that you can see. But uh, I drilled this out because what I want to do is this. I want to grow sad and starro and all that fun stuff in this tank right here in full sun, reflecting off the white as well. So uh, I drilled this out, got this from a man, John at Jemco. Do just a straight uh, ninja. I think this is a lifeguard uh, ball cat or whatever. So this is going to be tight. And um, what I'm thinking about with this too is it makes the water level a little bit lower. But what I can do is I can do like a 90 up, like you know, like that or whatever, and uh, that will raise the water level. But whatever, it's good enough. Just drilled that sucker out. Fit this on here. So I need to run to uh, Home Depot and pick myself up some vinyl tubing. But this is going to be tight. So what I'm doing is this. What I had to stop and think about was. You gotta worry about uh, algae in the sun. I, hey, look, it's springtime's coming. People are trying to set fish tanks outside. Let me give you some advice. Advice number one, set them in the shade, okay? I recommend setting a tank in the shade. Full sun, way too much light. Temperature swings, the whole deal. You will get algae. So I wanna have as much volume of water as possible. The problem is, um, ideally was trying to fit a it was trying to measure this 36 inches to potentially put a 40 breeder underneath it that's not going to happen with just the pieces of uh, plywood that i had around so you see i put the plywood there um and i've got this on top of there but i'll still be able to fit a 20 but i just kind of want to show you guys what i'm thinking here i'll put the 20 underneath here this holds about 30 gallons that gets me to 50 and then i can plumb these up shout out to my man rob at flip aquatics picked up these look at this complete fail Talk about a fish tank fail. That's me uh, attempting to scrape off the back because I wanted the full sun to come through, but now it just looks like crap. But I'll fill it with plants, you won't know. But anyway, this is not going to stay here, but I just want to get you guys the idea. So I can run a uh, 20 gallon underneath, and then this coming up the top here. Got my new pump I'm going to put on here, and then I can run it and flow it and flow it. And maybe that pump I can pump up into one of these, which is already drilled, which will be tight. So that's what I've got going on. We are putting some star with some sag in this today. 20 gallon underneath. And I should cut this shorter, I'm just going to leave it and kind of adjust, so I'm going to leave it long for now. Oh, got the water flowing. About to be the moment of zen here. We fill this up. We watch the overflow it goes down there. Now this is cooking. I don't think it'll be coming out of the uh, pump down there that fast. That's rated at 500 gallons per hour. We'll see. Uh, I'm gonna put that there. Get this overflowing in here. And then as soon as this is about and it's flowing good, uh, like I said, it would be better to not have this big loop in here. But whatever. So I'm gonna keep cranking this thing on here keep filling this up obviously this isn't keeping up see how it's going right there over the edge if it, the overflow was keeping up we wouldn't have that but that's fine because we're just uh, filling right now and then we'll go over here and we'll plug this thing in with one hand because I'm holding the camera wish me luck so the old knee pin trick and this is probably gonna gush too fast but whatever this is the most fun part for me though oh there we go and she's pumping and I love the convenience factor of outside it cannot be overstated like outside make a mess spill overflow unlevel like it's all like just awesome like that so ooh, we're getting a little close to full there doesn't matter if I overflow but I'm gonna kill this and then now we watch this can this uh, output right here eh, could be all right I love the way it's dark though, like I was going to use white PVC but I like the way that that's like, you know, dark and that's dark so 
the little the little things aesthetically. Looks like we're jamming. Had to do a little change up on the pump on the aquaponic setup. I took the 550 and put it in here with the 100 neons that are week one of two uh, in quarantine. And so that's in here. What I like about this too, it's full pumped up. I've already got the send part. So I went to the narrow diameter up tube and then these are full throttle open and then these outputs can handle it. Unlike what was out here. So I'll show you this. I put the send 350 on here and um, I really like these pumps because they've got the little uh, sponge around the end so it protects the impeller. Some of them like the lifeguard pumps I have don't have a sponge in front of them uh, out of the box so that this one actually is nice protects the impeller from getting messed up so that's the 350 on here and it goes up you know flu ball uh, little tube up here it actually connects over here doesn't run too fast and then i've got the overflow uh dialed in and running full go and then what i'm going to do with this uh, i debated about dirting it but i'm just going to run with this stuff I i've got a couple extra bags this brian actually went with the black uh, brightwell substrate in the tank at uh the hospital so I've got this brown bag. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll with this. Um, this is good stuff. Doesn't hard. It makes a little bit of a mess at first, but not nearly as messy as a dirted tank. So I'm going to plan it up with this. And then what I like about this too is it's got some sectional action going on. I don't know if you can see that off the reflection or not, but I can like, if I wanted to, I could put like a little divider in here and kind of do like, you know, a beta, a Staro, Sag, Baby Tears, whatever, in full freaking sunlight. So that's what I'm doing, folks. Don't forget, we got Reefapalooza coming up. Uh, what is it, the 20, 22nd, 23rd, 24th. My man Lou Shiva and the boys at Worldwide Curls throwing down a reef trade show on their home turf in Orlando. That's going to be sick. Obviously, this Sunday, I've got Species Sunday. People make a plan, I've been doing Species. I got not one, but two Species for you guys on Sunday. So everybody have an awesome Friday night, awesome Saturday. Talk to you on Sunday, and tank on, everybody. Later.